Hi everybody. Hi Mark. Um, okay, about pink flamingos. Um, I've always been a huge John Waters fan, but uh, uh, actually in keeping with your, you know, theme, I decided to pour my brew into a cool glass. I don't have a, a flamingo glass, but I do have this uh, vintage brew glass with a Ballantine on one side and Schlitz on the other. Um, so I think that's kind of, you know, somewhat appropriate for a, a little chat about pink flamingos. Um, as you know, uh, Edie, the, uh, <laughs> she was the best. She uh, had a thrift shop and a bar in um, Baltimore for a long time after she made the films. I think she, even during uh, the films. She was just great. I loved her, Edith Massey. Um, but my Pink Flamingo story uh, is we had a filming of it. We were heavy duty. We were film fans. Some of my friends were film students and um, so we were just big time film fans and we used to do screenings of uh, oddball films uh, actually right in my mother's living room because they had a nice big TV and it was cool. They were down the shore a lot in the summer so we had the house to ourselves and we decided to uh, do a screening of Pink Flamingos and uh, we had a lot of friends over a lot and uh, one of our friends brought uh, a new girlfriend with him that you know wasn't really familiar with our bunch and uh, she was told she was gonna go over and watch a, a film you know he probably didn't even say like art film or anything like that just going to watch a film um, by some friends and uh, the, we were like I don't know 20 minutes to a half hour into the film and he said uh, you know, she left the room, and he said, uh, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her home." And we're like, "Is she okay?" Well, he said, "Well, she has a heart condition, and uh, the film really freaked her out." <laughs> so um, that was that. I doubt that she ever saw the whole film at any time for the rest of her life. She probably was traumatized by it, you know. But um, we always loved it. And uh, that is my Pink Flamingo story. Talk to you later. Love you.